What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally in Shallower City, guys. And we're gonna go to the nitty-gritty. Eventually we're gonna have to find out a few things. Uh Shallower City is the place where our next gym battle will be. Not only that, but Mega Evolution is there too. And this person is like looking at our break Brakeson or Braxen. Braxen? Yes. She looks at her Pokemon on how friendly it is, and it's gonna give. A, she's gonna give us a, a soothe bell, which will make more Pokemon friendly towards us. And uh, well, these people right here, they're talking about the eating contest and the Hollow Caster right here. And uh, well, I think we need to go right here. There might be another item. As many of you guys already know, I'm looking for free items and all that crud. And well, let's see. If you're a trainer, will you show me a Pokemon raising with loving care? Yes. Which Pokemon? I'm obviously going to go with the very first Pokemon because, yes, it is a... Uh, yes, we met at level 5. It's now at level 35. And here is the token of gratitude. We are getting ourselves a footprint, uh, footprint ribbon, which, you know, it, it shows that, yes, our Pokemon, are, our Pokemon is well-loved and all that crud. And, yes, we have a flying-type Pokemon. And we're helping this Pokemon trainer move its uh, move their luggage. And we're going to be getting ourselves some Stardust, which will help fund us just a little bit. Because off-screen, I did buy myself the TM28 Dig and I think another TM for Poison Jab. So that 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 was a good investment. Some of those uh, uh, TMs you can buy right here at the Pokemon Center. So let's do what we didn't do. And let's heal up our Pokemon because, well, we kind of need to. So let's go right ahead and do that. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? Pretty good? Great? Fantastic? Feeling like uh, everything's going well? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure by coming right here. The crew is here. Hey, Sensei! How's your journey going? Hello, Draven! Let's compare our coastal uh, Kalos Pokedexes and see who has more kinds of Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 46 kinds of Pokemon. Huh, I lost. How frustrating. Now, it doesn't necessarily, like, in, it doesn't matter if you don't see the Pokemon or anything. It doesn't matter what the number is. Yeah, you'll still beat them. So this guy's like, oh, so you've seen a Kangaskhan too, Sensei. Just showing, just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else makes me, uh, makes, or can sure make you happy. Get this. I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh, yes, I remember. The professor told us to say hello to the Megastone, or the e Mega Evolution Guru, when we reach Shalu City. That's right, he said, he did say that. Hmm. Wh uh, who, were uh, who were supposed to say hello again? A person called the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, that's right, he did say that. Well, I guess we should look for the Mega Evolution Guru then. Where do you think he, he is anyway? I heard he's in an imposing building deep into the city, the Tower of Mastery. Hmm. Uh, could it be the one... Uh, Right over there. Well, we're not going to go over there yet because homeboy right here is like, Sensei, check this out. Check what out? I'm not going to say a dance. Isn't that a stone cool? I got I got it from a person uh, called the Wandering Stone Collector for showing off my dance moves. It might be a mega a stone. Here, Sensei, you can have it. I want you to have it because you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember our battle at Route 5. You mean the you mean the ass whooping that I handed you? Yes. And there it is, guys, the imposing building. The Tower of Mastery. So cool. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'll go call Trevs then. Go ahead, uh, okay? Sure, why not? Alright, so we're gonna be going straight into the Tower of Mastery. Look at that place. Thumbnail. Right here. Nah, I'm just playing. This is uh, the episode where we're going to have our next gym battle, so just keep an eye out for that, guys. So here it is, the Tower of Mastery. This will be the thumbnail for probably the next episode. Walking in. And we're going to be going inside this room right here. Look at that! Freaking Lucario. And here is the... Well, here is the, whatchamacallit, the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh! You must be Draven, then. Sycamore told me uh, you would uh, be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru, I guess. Or, the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of, of, of his. 
Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here uh, for a moment, will ya? Hmm. Question mark. Hmm. Only one of you. I thought he gave five kids Pokedexes. Isn't there anyone else with you? Yes, the Pokemon Rangers. Uh, these two clowns right here. Who, who's that you're talking to, Sensei? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, my name is Tierno, and that's Draven over there. My name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's pupils. But there are, there are still only three of you, huh? What's this now? Were you the one who found this intriguing stone? Well, if you say it was given to me, Tierno right here is going to be like, Come on, Draven, you found it, so I'm just going to take the credit. And he's like, Yep, sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one who uh, who found that intriguing stone? It was giving to me. And, of course, yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm not even going to read this, but... Yes. He found it, and... Well, like, like, he's going to be like, Hmm, sure a lot of hubbub out there. Does that mean that everyone has arrived? Probably. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Karina. And she's like, hey there, so you made it to Shallower City. Lucario is in his Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should go see what's going on, too. We are. We are going to go see. And we got ourselves the two female Power Rangers waiting for us right here. And, well, the Mega Evolution Guru is going to be like, hmm, looks like everybody's finally here. Sensei! Where you? Uh, where have you been? It feels like it's been some time since our group, uh, our whole group, has gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's been since we met up at Route Seven, Mister Mega Evolution Guru. I've been wondering this whole time. Who is that over there? This is my granddaughter Karina. She's the Shallower City's gym leader. So Sycamore's pupils. Now that you are all here, I suppose I should explain the Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Mega Evolution. I know, I know. Um, you have your Pokemon battle a lot, and then they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship, and some others evolve through in certain places. Exactly. And it's likely a Pokemon evolve in a lot other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other po evolution. Indeed. Mega Evolution is a transformation of a Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So in evolutionary line like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. But not all Pokemon have Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used to uh, use the word transformation a, a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yes. Mega Evolution is a special kind of evolution. That is said, uh, we still know very little about. What we know now is what requires it requires special items. And the most important element is, tr is the trust between a trainer and a Pokemon. Hmm. That is true. Trust, in other words, the bond between a trainer and Pokemon. To make a Mega Evolution work, you need two items, a Mega Stone for the Pokemon and a Mega Ring, which is which has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since Professor Sycamore entrusted each one of you a Pokedex, I would like to give these items to all of you. I'd like to share them with you, but... But? But what? Just to come out here and say it already. Sorry, but presently I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item, that's why my research isn't going anywhere. So I want I want all of you to decide amongst yourselves which one of you will be the one that challenges for the Mega Evolutionary Successor. I'll pass, Pokemon battling isn't really my scene. So Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Mm, me too. It really would be cool memory, when, and, it, and it does look interesting, but I want to complete the Pokedex first. If you try to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. So, that leaves Sensei and Serena, then. The trainers don't get much better than you two. Oh, yeah. She wants to battle me. She wants me, but she wants to battle me. Draven, let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, a battle gives us a, an, an opportunity to complete the and see who 
who Vanderbilt's town's best trainer really is. Okay. That sounds like a fun idea. So, I'm gonna show her who the boss is. So, let's go right ahead and battle our girlfriend right here, Serena. She is the lovely Serena. Gotta love her. Yes. Okay, so, are you ready? Yes. I've been ready. I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far together and they never stop believing in me and their trainer. You and your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell by just looking at you. But I will not lose. No. I'm going to win. Alrighty. Whatever you say, baby. Just know, once I beat you, you gotta tell our you gotta tell your mama about what I did. Beat you right here in a Pokemon battle. Here we go, taking on Meowsic. I believe that's the Mega Evolu or no, not the Mega Evolutionary form, but the evolution of what was it? Damn, I completely forgot the name of the Pokemon. Let's go with a Shadow Sneak. Let's go, Blade. Sneak behind. Bam. And it is super effective. Now, this Pokemon is going to go with a light screen. Okay. You want to go light screen? Let's go Swords Dance. And here comes a disarming voice. That is not super effective. Now, it would work if it wasn't a fairy type move. So, here we go. Attack has risen. Let's go straight for another Shadow Sneak. And that... We'll do its trick. Yes, powered up. Ready to go. Kick some butt, take some names. Blade has grown just a little bit more, and Sharptooth has joined the level 30 club and is learning Dragon Tail. Okay. Let's go ahead and take away Charm for just right now. Okay. There we go. And just like that. Yeah, just like that, we are. What was it called? Uh. <laughs> We're taking on Absol right here, so let's go with Nacho. Nacho Libre, Nacho Fries, Nacho Anything. So let's go. Nacho, how's it going? It's been, well, it's been an episode. And here comes Absol. Let's go straight for a Flying Press Attack. It's a new move that I've uh, learned. Or actually, not a, learn not a new move, it's just something new. It is a dual type move which they should probably have a little bit more of. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nova defeated, or Nova has gained a little bit of points. And here comes Frog a Frogadier. Let's go with a Nova itself. It needs to join the level 30 club right here. Okay, Nova, how's it going? And here comes a Frogadier. It is Pokemon. I really do miss using a Frogadier on my team because that, you know, that Pokemon is just legit. And here comes a quick attack. Here comes a, a parabolic uh, charge. And yes, that will give us just a little bit more HP. And because of that, I didn't, I didn't realize that the light stream was still on. So this, this one attack right here will be a little bit more effective. So here we go. And that will give us half its HP. Okay. Let's go. Another parabolic attack. And... Yeah, you're, you're hitting us with quick attacks. WTF. And there you go. Frogadier has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Alrighty. And Star Fox has grown to level 36. And Serena has been defeated. So I lost then. Yes, you did, baby. I am the best... You know, if, if this means being the best of, of you know, Vanderville, then yeah. <laughs> the story ends right here. Digivolution time. So, it's been a while. We've had an evolution, but this is the final stage to this Pokemon's uh, evolutionary line. And this is a first. This is going to be a first on using this Pokemon right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our newest Pokemon. Delphox. It does look like a wizard too, so that's pretty awesome. And Delphox is learning Mystical Fire. This is a, I believe it's specialized move right here, or signature move. This is a special attack. So let's go ahead and take away Fire Spin. And there we go, just like that. Fire Spin has been eliminated. Mystical Fire has been learned. And uh, well, she's a little happy about this. It was so strong! I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your partners is. 
Losing is frustrating, but you will definitely be able to, to Mega Evolve your Pokemon. I'm sure of it. There may be winners and losers in Pokemon Battle, but I really thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to, uh, to make your Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. Well then, Draven. First, you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Pokemon need a Mega Stone, and a Pokemon trainers need a Mega Ring. Well, my mysterious trainer, my Lucario may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test to see if you're, re uh, you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me at the gym too. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll bet the professor will be happy if you master Mega Evolution. That's one way. Uh, that's one way you can show mastery as a Pokemon trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do. After all, he said he should. Uh, we should aim to be the best trainers we can uh, be and enjoy our journey. Here now, shall we work to be the best trainers uh, we can be too? All right then, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, Sensei. See ya, Shawnee. And, uh, well, right there. You don't really need to go all, to all this trouble of comparing. Every living creature is unique, but still having someone to complete or to compete against and aim for greater heights is a very fine thing. Sensei, I think you and, uh, you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all having our traveling together. That is true. Very, very true. Anywho, guys. I was playing around. Yes, the next episode we will be going up against Serena. Or not Serena. Karina. For our next gym battle. So this is like a three-part series. Yes, I know. I get it. Just want to say thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.